Hello everyone. Welcome to the virtual practical class of Manocha Academy. In today's class, we are going to observe a few prepared permanent slides. These are slides of different types of muscular tissues and nerve cells. So for this, I have four prepared permanent slides of smooth muscle, striated muscle and cardiac muscle. And we also have a slide of nervous tissue. Now, of course, I will need a microscope to magnify my specimen and observe it. So here I have a compound microscope. I'm going to use low power and high power to see the different tissues. Let us start with the cardiac muscle. As you all must remember, cardiac muscles are present in the wall of the heart. These are muscles which are elongated in shape, they have branchings and they are binucleated usually, they may be uninucleated also and the nucleus is located at the center. So let us see how it will look like in high magnification 100x or 450x in this microscope. So this is how it looks under the microscope with 100x magnification. You can clearly see the cells and their branching but if you want to see the nucleus you have to magnify it a little more. So we'll do that now. So now you can clearly see not only the cells and their branchings but you can also see the nuclei which are stained in dark pink or reddish color in contrast to the cytoplasm which is stained light pink. We move on to our next muscle which is unstriated muscle. Now unstriated muscle or smooth muscles are present in the wall of hollow organs other than heart. And if you remember these muscles are spindle shaped which means that they have tapering ends and they are broad at the center. They also have a nucleus one which is located right at the center. So let us see how it will look like under 100x magnification. So this is how it looks like in 100x magnification. It is not very clear obviously because these are really small cells. So we will magnify it a little further and observe it in 450x. Now you can see the cells and you can probably also recognize the spindle shape of these cells. We move on to the next muscle which is striated muscle. These muscles are present attached to our skeleton. They are therefore also known as skeletal muscles. Now if you remember about striated muscles, these are elongated, cylindrical in shape. They have alternate light and dark transverse bands. However, you will not be able to see these bands under this kind of magnification. For that you need much higher magnification. What you will be able to see are these elongated cells which look very similar to cardiac cells but they are not branched. and. They are also have nucleus, they are multinucleated and the nuclei are located towards the periphery of the cell. So let us see first how they look like in 100x magnification. So this is how it looks like in 100x magnification. Now we move on to a higher power which is 450x magnification. And there you go. You can clearly see the cells, the cells are not branched unlike the cardiac muscles. So those were the three muscle cells. Now we move on to the nervous tissue. We are going to observe a section of the brain of an animal and here we are trying to find out how the nerve cells would look like in a cross section. So the nerve cells in all animals have a cellular body which is known as the cyton which contains the nucleus and it gives out processes. So when you observe a nerve to nervous tissue under the microscope, the main thing that you will be able to see are these processes coming out from a cellular structure and that is how you identify a nerve cell. So let us see how it looks under the microscope. So that is how it looks under the microscope. 
you can see the processes clearly. Although you might not be able to distinguish all the different layers of the axon, the layers that cover the axon, but you can definitely make out that there are processes coming out from the nerve cells. So those were the tissues that we observed today under the microscope with the help of prepared permanent slides. I hope you enjoyed it. Please visit our website www.manochaacademy.com where we have courses in physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics and computer coding. Have fun and happy learning.